Uh, I am here today with my dear friend, Chloe. How are you? Thank good. you. You're looking real pretty. What did you say about looking good and feeling good? It's better to look good than to feel good. Well, hopefully we got both, but you're looking good, girlfriend. You, you're good. Uh, last week, she was going to come on with us, but you had a little bit of, a, of an accident, right? I have a concussion right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, you're doing real well. You're doing real well, and I'm glad... I'm glad that you're here with us because it is uh, something that we've been covering for a number of weeks now, the status of Ramsey Muniz, and I know that uh, you have an ongoing hotline to him or, or in conversation with him. So I, I kind of touched a little bit on it yesterday, I mean, I mean like last week, about um, the, uh, the inability of his daughter to see him, that he hadn't seen his daughter in a number of years, and she has... Grandchildren? Yes. Yeah. Um, Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, certainly. Uh, for the last three weeks, she had come from Idaho so that she could visit with her mm -hmm. father. She hadn't seen him in over 20 years. Uh -huh. So she came with her five children, but they have been in lockdown up until last weekend. But she did stick around, and you she did. did see her daddy, and uh, his spirits are high. Okay. But for three weeks of lockdown, it's a... Uh, horrid uh, thing you can imagine. Mm -hmm. And also when that lockdown, I know you shared that with me earlier, that he's not able to, uh, he eats from the con concession stand? He, he eats from the vending, vending machines. machines. Okay. And during lockdown, that's, those are considered privileges, you know, where you can use the microwave and get food out of the vending machine. And so when they're in lockdown, you cannot do that. Mm -hmm. So... Um, uh, you, you can imagine, you know, him not being able to eat. Es algo muy triste. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, pass me this picture. This is a picture uh, Chloe brought it, uh, a couple of times when she came to visit us, and this is just a picture that you painted for uh, Ramsey. Is that right? Yes, yes, and that's called the Woman Warrior. Okay. And uh, it's very special to me. And um, uh, during all this incarceration of Ramsey. For 20 years, my granddaughters also have become older, like his grandchildren, mm -hmm. and I, I talked to them about Ramsey and the contributions that he made in our society and for us Latinos. And my little granddaughter, Bella, she says, fix her this way, Grandma. So, you know, those are ideas for my grandchildren, and, you know, without uh, children, the world will cease. Mm -hmm. So... Um, you know, it's it's very special to me, and mm -hmm. I hope that the audience enjoys it, too. Okay. And one of the things that you shared with me uh, before you came on, uh, were unable to come on last time, was the, uh, the the fact that Ramsey is incarcerated in Beaumont, and that is, seems to be a facility where there's gangs? Yes. Is that what's going yes. on there? Uh, it, it is a very unfortunate matter, as I have continued to, to share with you and to... Uh, people and to politicians. Um, he is in a facility that is uh, for gang-related um, inmates, okay. uh, gangsters. So that might explain what the lockup down was. Right, right, right. You know, but he shouldn't even be that in that facility. Law and, law and order. I said, I said they were talking about yes. law and order. So, so the, you know, this facility, and mm -hmm. if I may, you know. Yeah, go ahead and, he, and you know, he, he, he wrote this on the 13th, and uh, he January? says, uh, okay. yes, um, and, um, he should have been, you know, sent to Three Rivers, you know, 20 years ago. Okay. And, you know, the government voided that. They have put him everywhere else. Now, th that right there is uh, a violation in itself. And Three Rivers is close to? It's his... closer to Corpus Christi, okay. to their relatives. And, and so he says, um, I'm confined in a gang-related institution, and this institution is always locked down, always, for there are 10 different gangs in this institution. I am not and never have been a gang member. I am a servant of God, Jesus Christ, La Virgen de Guadalupe, y nuestra raza. When I was in solitary confinement in the dungeons of Leavenworth Penitentiary, chained, shackled, and naked for weeks and months, I knew how my brother Jesus Christ must have felt when he was confined and tortured before, nailed alive to the cross of freedom, justice, and love. Okay. And go ahead and continue this. Uh this is from Ramsey himself. So Yes, this was the most recent correspondence okay. from him, and he did ask me to share this with our Absolutely. people. Mi hermana, as soon as I'm released from this lockdown, Irmi and I will be in 
touch and communicating with you and others there in Austin, Texas, so that we can get a letter from you as Congressman Doggett, who Congressman Doggett has mm -hmm. been our only help, yes, if I may say that, that recommending that after 20 years of maliciously violating the federal court order, I immediately be transferred to Three Rivers or Bastrop, there's close to you and others in Austin. I've written to Dr. Zamora, Emilio Zamora. Okay. You know, has come to he our aid now. Him. Yes, he did. Uh, went to few months he, ago. He went to visit him, and uh, when we had the reunion here in the summer, he also, uh, that's when he stepped in, you know, to help, as well as um, some other uh, local um, activists here in mm -hmm. Austin, Texas. I know my friend Alicia Perez. Alicia Perez. She shared with me. She said he has the blues eyes. He, he does, and I want everyone to know that he is the most beautiful man, and, you know, in his youth, he was so admired, too, from women. I mean, beauty is beauty, you know, mm -hmm. and he has turquoise-colored eyes, mm -hmm. and I hadn't seen those eyes since I was very, very young, and when I saw them, when I saw him in April, that's what I wanted for my birthday, was to see him. Then I had a sense of... Um, at ease, yeah. at okay. ease, you Pleasure. know, and then the, we prayed together and and just to be with him and, and for him to remember the good times. And, and I know that um, he will see the good times again. Okay. Um, but, you know, we time and time again, we have lawyers that step in and say they're going to help us with the case. And then we don't hear from them again. Mm -hmm. And so we're concerned about that. Is Mr. Bean still, still helping? Mr. Bean will continue to aid us forever. Okay. Um, uh, if you want me to read the... Yeah, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Um, um, I've written twice to attorney Pablo Avila, but have never received a response. Maybe he got cold feet, but that is all right. For everyone has to live with their consciousness. Please let Irma know you received my letter. Be strong, my sister, for a time has come. Listen, if nuestra gente, Hispanics, Latinos, Mexican-Americans, Chicanos, had the political par power to re-elect Obama as president, we can also use the same political power to free, I mean, punishment in the prisons of America for 20 years. I'm 70 years old, and personally, I do not wish to die in the prisons of America. Please share this letter with Rose. That's my sister, who was very active in his campaigns. Okay and share with whoever you wish. I would be honored. Stay strong and know that you are in my prayers. And share also with another member named Kiko in exile, your brother Ramsey. Let me see what else he, he put here, Peggy. Self-depreciation is another characteristic of the oppressed, which deserves, excuse me, I can't read very well, derives from the internalization of the opinion of the oppressors hold of them. This he he often quotes other other people, mm -hmm. other humanitarians. Absolutely. You know. Because he feels uh it says in the yes, alive. in the end they become convinced of their own unfitness. You know, it this this is enough of um Ramsey's suffering, you know, uh having known him all my life mm -hmm. and then when he was tried twice for the same um, offense and it to be untruth of him to be in prison and the suffering and Ramsey can barely walk now I know um, he probably wouldn't want everyone to know of his suffering like that but I want people to know because I want him to be free he is still so active, even in prison. Él le ayuda a los muchachos allí. Mm -hmm. He gives them help. He gives them advice. I mean, he helps so many that they go in there and then they come out. But he stays in there. When mm -hmm. he is yeah. the most innocent there in prison. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm sure with our prayers, he will have his uh, justice will, will prevail and he will be out here in the in the. Um, public with, with his friends. There was um, the beginning of the letter he, he put in here, Peggy, he put, um, I pray that upon receipt of this letter you're in the best of health and happiness. I'm sure that by now you're aware of the fact that we continue to be in lockdown status. I was unable to visit with my five grandchildren and Delinda, my daughter, for the first time in 20 years of incarceration, and they came all the way from Idaho to be told their grandfather, who was 70 years old, was locked down like an animal. Mm -hmm. How do you think I felt? Yes, hermana, I cried like a child for the longest time because 
Legally speaking, I should not even be in this institution. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, I want to invite the public. Um, I know uh, Chloe's been on a couple of times, and we take a recording of it, and we were able to put it on YouTube. And what we want planning today is to uh, go on, you on YouTube, and you look up Ramsey Muniz, and there's about five or six different... Um, video clips of him. I know we put one, we've submitted one for about 30 minutes, but there was one that I wanted to, to show today. I did put it on Facebook. I don't know if, how many people are on my Facebook, but you can go to YouTube and look up Ramsey Muniz, and it's Ramsey Muniz, his story, and you click that, and you can put that on your Facebook and share it with your friends. And it's a clip about, because there's a lot of people who say, well, why is he in jail? What's going on? And it's and it was put on by the students, uh, student blog, or what was that? There's, there's so many groups, actually, mm -hmm. that I, I couldn't quite give you which answer, but there's Mecha groups, uh -huh. you know, and then there's friends. And, you know, we do have a lot of support, but the support that we need the most is from our president. And the Latino Voters League endorsed President Obama, and we did have a stipulation that we would reelect him if he would help us, too, with Ramiro Ramsey Muniz. Yeah. Well, I know LULAC, the president of LULAC, uh, had, uh, had, uh, had a resolution before the congregation. Right. And in LULAC, you're talking about, well, the majority of LULAC members are in um, the state of Texas, but they're all over the nation. And it's the oldest organization in the United States, Latino uh, organizations, League of United Latin American Citizens. And uh, they had a resolution, they put it yes. forth to to put their efforts towards a free and Ramsey. Yes. And that's a national organization. And I, I think Irma had talked about the GI Forum and just different organizations, because that's what it's going to take. It's going to take the mobilization of the uh, community. Right. And I, I want to talk about one of our local LULAC okay, members, uh, Marcelo Tafoya. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. um, he is just an incredible man, and he did. When I first approached him, he helped me immediately. I mm -hmm. have so much good to say about Mr. Tafoya. Yeah. So I, I want to like thank you very well. much, Mr. Tafoya. And Mr. Tafoya also remembers Ramsey in the early years, you know, 40 years back, mm -hmm. you know, when he, we were all united. And I think that that's what we need again. We need to be reunited, and we need to gain the strength that we had back then. And I know that we can do it. Mm -hmm. And I know that even though Ramsey has been incarcerated, that he still has that ability and that dedication to continue to help our community. Absolutely. And I think what's coming to mind right now, you're, you're right. We need to mobilize the Latino community. And, and, and like right now they're saying, well, the Latino vote, it's, it's kind of a, a phase that, we're, we're going to use you for, as a voting segment of Mechanism. the community, and we're going to get reelected, and we're going to do this. But I think what you're talking about is mobilizing the population, and then we need to get what we need to get, what needs to happen, such as an issue like this of Ramsey, you know. Thank you, yes. And, and that's what needs to happen within our community. So, um, and, and, you know, I, I think it's important also for uh, people to know that we are approaching the president just with the release, the humane release of, of a wonderful man. We're not asking for any money. We're not asking mm -hmm. for anything. You know, he just needs to be free. Uh, all the legal papers need to be read and reread. And, and it, it is the most sad thing that you can imagine you know, to have an innocent mm -hmm. man uh, incarcerated. But, you know, his mind has not left, and it will not leave. And, you know, uh, as a whole, as an entirety, our people, los Mexicanos, Latinos, tenemos la fuerza del espíritu grande. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we will continue to, to uh, aid us. Uh, I know that it has helped me tremendously, you know, to know that we do keep our faith and we, we won't lose our faith. Mm -hmm. Do you know much about the Friends of Ramsey? Yes. You know, go ahead and tell yes. us a little bit about um, that. Dr. Bean, he works in the, uh, well, throughout the country, but um, in the southern states, he became involved with a lot of uh, oppression, uh, with a lot of um, uh, cases like this, you know, but 
Ramsey's case was so different because Ramsey uh, was in the civil rights rather than these mm -hmm. other cases. It's just individual families, you know, that are that are being um, uh, mistreated, mm -hmm. you know, that are being incarcerated and so forth. And so he, too, has made it a point, and he's part of a large clergy group that have also reviewed Ramsey's case left and right. I mean, we have had so many people review mm -hmm. Ramsey's case, and they just cannot believe it. They're like, I can't believe that y'all aren't down there, mm -hmm. you know, and not leaving and saying we're going to get him out right now. You know, and, and uh, that's a strength that, that uh, we do have, and we do have it spiritually. But now is when, more than ever, to please contact our politicians and say, well, listen, you know, uh, it, it, we have reviewed it, and, and the public can go into it, the, the freeramsey.com. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am, freeramsey.com. You can go to that, and, and you can uh, find out more about it. Yeah, you can get on there. You can get copies of letters uh, that could be sent by different individuals within the community. You could go on there and get uh, uh, contact information to, like we talked earlier about the uh, the individuals in department department of parole and, and do letters like that and and uh, while we're on it how who you can contact now you can contact the president too you have his direct line right um, I I do um, I have it over there okay. oh that's right uh, um, but what were you going to say um, I wanted I wanted to say um, about Ramsey too is that he he is such a brilliant man he you know his IQ was so high. Um, I, I really, I, I really find it so hard. Even after all these years, I, I wake up sometimes and tell myself, "Is this really just a nightmare? You know, mm -hmm. am, am I just is just an ongoing nightmare? Okay. You know, um, I've had a recent concussion, and I'm like thinking, you know, is it, you know? Mm -hmm. But it is, it's real, and it is so unfair that such a brilliant family man, brilliant. Mm -hmm. And a very spiritual man mm -hmm. for him to be. Uh, Was like Abby that. able to see him? Yes, I wanted to tell okay. you. His first wife um, has been able to speak with him. I don't know anything about about what else, but most importantly is that he was able to see his daughter, daughter. and his grandchildren. Um, the, the new warden where mm -hmm. he's at in Beaumont is Warden Rivera, and I don't know his first name right now mm -hmm. but um, I was also advised that we can you can write directly to the Beaumont prison mm -hmm. and uh, you know put a word in and say I know this man and you know um, could you put a word to and release okay. uh, Ramiro mm -hmm. Ramsey Muniz 40288 115 mm -hmm. I invite the uh, public to go uh, to YouTube and then type in Ramsey Muniz, and then you go in there, and it goes Ramsey Muniz's story. And it's a documentary made by the students for Ramsey blog. Or it'll say on there exactly what their technical name is. And, and it can give you more information on, it's like what you say, it's so confusing. How did this happen? Why did it happen? And I think my personal feel on this is that the more you research, the more you go in there, the more that you know you can kind of understand, and then, and then possibly if you go to freeramsey.com, there's, and you can write to er Irma, and and you can have uh, some dialogue with her, and and also know different things that are going on with, within Ramsey's uh, website, because that's where we need to do. We need to keep searching. I know that. I put this clip that I wanted to play tonight, Ramsey when you use his story, I put it on Facebook and I got numerous response, you know. Thank they you. said, you know, we linked it to someone to another site and and thank you Peggy and I mean thank it's, you, Peggy, you know, it's just you know, just because it's just like I like I feel personally the more we know, the more we keep keep it alive and, and, and the hope and the prayers that we can have for Ramsey for his safety and, and, of course, his release. Yes, I, I didn't bring another letter where it mm -hmm. tells me so much that uh, Ramsey really wants to thank you for giving us the air times that you've oh, given us. no problem. We'll, and, we'll continue. And I sit here, and I'm very strong, and it's, you know, I, I have feelings, mm -hmm. and it hurts, you know, mm -hmm. after the talk is over and to know that he's still there. Uh, the White House phone number is 202 
four five six one 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 one. That's Obama's White House number, mm -hmm. and uh, I would also, t um, you know, ask to talk to uh, the new uh, pardon attorney mm -hmm. for Obama, which is Rogers. And the last time that we spoke, mm -hmm. he sent a uh, letter. Did he not? Yeah, he, he had, you know, acknowledged the letter that that mm -hmm. we wrote. And so now, you know, we pray and we wait for, for it to, to, to be acknowledged and for Ramsey to come out free. And he has been a perfect uh, prisoner role model, too, you know, because they, they look at all mm -hmm, of that. Mm -hmm. but Chloe, did you want to? Hey, I, I wanted uh, to finish reading this. And th this is um, it, the pronunciation pedagogy of the oppressed. The oppressed. Paulo Freire at one time was also confined, uh, and he, he wrote on uh, oppression, and that's what uh, Ramsey Aki Escrivio, this is what he wrote here. So often do they hear that they are good for nothing, know nothing, and are incapable of learning anything, that they are sick, lazy, and unproductive, that in the end they became convinced of their own unfitness. Now, I want to go back to Corpus Christi, okay. which, you know, this is where Ramsey uh, began. We were in elementary school, my sister and I, and we would speak Spanish, and we spoke some um, Indian, too, okay, mm -hmm. because of that. And I remember my sister just being terrified because the teacher le pegó and her, hit her in the mouth wow. with the ruler because my sister spoke in Spanish. So naturally that night we were at my abuelita's house mm -hmm. and Ramsey's sitting there with Johnny because they're getting ready to finish high school. And my sister tells grandma that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, Ramsey, that, that's another event. You know, I've talked to you. Mm -hmm. you. You said you must have lots of stories, and I do. Absolutely. Okay. So uh, nobody felt like eating the delicious fideo and frijoles and fresh tortillas that night because Rose was so um, hurt because the teacher. Mm -hmm. And, you, you know, you do that in front of everybody in the classroom. Well, my sister went on and became, she has her master's degree in education, but she's never forgotten that either. Absolutely, you know? dramatic. And so, you know, that, that's another one of those stories. And, and like I said, there was um, um, other times where Ramsey would, would just sit back and look at all of the, the gente, all our raza, our familias. And uh, so when he took it upon himself, to run for governor, he meant business. It wasn't a joke like some of these other mm -hmm. politicians have come in, and these other uh, politicians that do not want to uh, fund education for everybody. I mean, I, I cannot believe all the nonsense of some of these politicians mm -hmm. that exist, you know, and, and Ramsey's ideas, and they were written about, and I had the manuals, but then the library quit carrying those manuals where I read all the different ideas that they had come up with, you know, how, and we, we had it together, Peggy. In regards to his case, you mean? It, no, in, excuse me, in regards to the work that we were going to do, you know, once elected, you oh, know, okay. all, all the educational process, mm -hmm. you know, everything. things that need to be fixed. Everything, right, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. But you see, you know, and those, those are some things that Ramsey didn't forget when he uh, chose to run for governor, the same mm -hmm. as my daddy. My daddy, before Ramsey ran for governor, Pop knew that he needed to form a union where he worked, mm -hmm. and he did. My Pop did. Mm -hmm. so, so then later on, then with Ramsey, the happiness that we had, you know, and, and Las Casas allí and the barrio, it Knowing was so that beautiful. you had someone that would fight for you. Absolutely. We felt like this is the one. You know, we've known him all our lives. He's seen the struggle. He's seen mm -hmm. the changes that need to come about. When they were feeding cattle instead of people, you know, you could see. You know, there's, we've had some problems, mm -hmm. and we still have some problems, but not like the problems that we had then. That's what I feel. I tell a lot of people, a lot of uh, immigrants, can I tell you? about my brother Ramsey Muniz, do mm -hmm. you have a minute? I'd like to educate you because there's more to our country, to Texas, than just earning money. Let's talk about the roots of those that contributed for us to have a better world. And Ramsey did change politics. I think that you know that. Mm -hmm. You know, once once a Latino stepped in there, you know, it opened the doors. He still Well, closed. I think he got over 200,000 votes, and, and that he was... 
that was a little bit of a threat to the to the way things are, you it know, is. the way the society is. So it's kind of like, and a friend of mine, like I, I shared with you last time, he said, well, it sounds like he's a political prisoner. I mean, we have to have him locked up because if he was out, maybe he would be the first Hispanic governor. Yes. And uh, and and he w he was always fighting for the individual and his law firm. I think sometimes he would he would uh, take cases that weren't very profitable for the law firm, but he felt near and dear to those causes and, and, and the fight. In, indeed, and one of those um, cases that, you know, he told the client, no, we're not going to do that, somehow that got all entangled, and, um, you know, this mess has arisen from it, but I assure you that Ramsey is an innocent man, and the day that he is free, I think that we will become a more forceful, mm -hmm. Uh, a more uh, resourceful uh, people. Um, Texas, I, I think Texas really is so much ours. I'm, I'm trying well, not to sound so biased. Peggy. No, no. Well, if you, if you look at the uh, the growing population, you know, there's the minority becoming majority. So, you know, there's growth there in the numbers. But we just need to figure out how to use those numbers to get where we need to be. Um, I, I appreciate the dialogue I'm having with you, and uh, I want to invite anyone if they want to talk to me also. You know, I'm, I'm with the committee with FreeRamsey.com. Okay. You know, my name is Clotilde Sofiquitas. I know you like uh, to call me Chloe, uh -huh. and I actually do have my Texan roots, too. I'm a descendant of La Bahia. Mm -hmm. um, mother's um, cousin was Dr. Uh, Hector Perez uh, Garcia, who's another great... Uh, Latin legend, you know, he he, form, he's the founder of the GI Forum. The GI Forum, okay. And so, you know, it it, it runs in my DNA, you know, to sure. help to help the people. And I have done a lot of research mm -hmm. of our family, and our family has always been contributing and generous to all Tejanos, irregardless of color. Okay. If people would go on to freeramsey.com, would they get your information there, or they just yes, they, yes, you, would be you, there? You, they can inquire for me, and I do live in Austin. And mm -hmm. I am I am ready to meet with anyone if they would like to. I welcome them into my home too. Okay. Because and your, your email address is, is your name is how, what's yes. Your? My email address is Clotilde Rea R E A at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. R E A mm -hmm. R E A R E A. Okay. At gmail dot com. So you can kind of see. Like I I I call her Chloe because it's a little more it's easier for me. But I just I just giving her that name. So it's just kind of like. So we've got a couple more minutes here. Um, I don't That's really cute of you to call me Chloe because when I met George Lopez a long time ago, uh -huh. before he got real, real big, you know, my mom and we were there, Keith, and, and uh, he goes, I can't call you that. Uh -huh. He says, I'm going to call you Chloe. Yeah. So, so you know. kind of stuck there. Yeah. yeah. So we've got, let's see, we're off at 28. So we got about a minute and a half. You want to? Go ahead and close the show with uh, some yes, words of, I, about I, Ramsey. Or? I, I just really uh, implore that uh, our audience, you know, come come into the realization that this is an innocent man and we need to help him. He's been in prison for 20 years. He is a good man. And, uh, you know, when he comes out, uh, he's ready to work for us again. And uh, he will be an asset, you know, to uh, our society. Uh, Ramsey also has says that, he uh, will be very careful. Uh, we read uh, the commutation letter that was received mm -hmm. to... Uh, uh, and you can get that kind of information on free Right, .com. absolutely. You know, so um, this is a time now uh, for our president to grant us that commutation. And I think that our country will actually do better in so many ways. And um, I continue also my spirituality, as Ramsey does. And um, please... Call the White House at 202-456-1111 and contact us, too, at freeramsey.com. Okay. And, again, I invite you to go onto YouTube. And when you go onto YouTube, just press in uh, Ramsey Muniz. And the story that we wanted to bring to you today is uh, Ramsey Muniz, His Story. And it's a documentary done by the students of uh, Free, uh, Free Ramsey, a blog, whatever that was in there. But you'll, you'll see it on the uh, website. Okay. So